Hey guys, welcome back to TomZang.us. Today I am making a short video on the preview of iOS 5.0. Um, I actually just got this uh, moments ago and uh, just wanted to uh, demonstrate uh, what this uh, new iOS 5.0 looks like. So anyways, without further ado, let me go ahead and set up the process and I actually haven't been able to uh, actually I, you know I just got this uh, so uh, I'm going through uh, the setup process as we speak here and uh, so my default language would be English and then I would press the arrow button and the thing with iOS 5.0 is uh, you no longer would need to hook it up to a computer to actually set up. You know how you buy your iPhone, iPod, and iPad? Uh, at first, um, right out of the box, it requires you to hook up your uh, iDevice into a PC or Mac and get connected to an iTunes software in order to actually even activate and turn on the device for the first time. Well, that is no longer the case. As of today, June 6, 2011, um, iOS 5.0 will, uh, will allow you to activate your device without uh, PC. And so now I am trying to hook up to a Wi-Fi um, I actually forgot my Wi-Fi password, so I'll skip this step for for now and continue. And this asked me to set up a new iPad or restore a previous. And as you can see, I have three options. I can set up as a new iPad, restore from iCloud backup, and restore from iTunes and this will automatically send diagnostics to Apple and it's default by don't send so I'll stick with that and it says your iPad is now set up you're ready to using the most advanced iOS ever so let's start using it alright so uh, the spring pad looks pretty much the same except now you have reminders and let me just turn on the uh, uh, turn on the brightness just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better and actually helps me to see a little bit better as well. Um, so here we have obviously iCloud and uh, alright so it requires login so let me go ahead and type in my secret passphrase And actually, before I do that, I would need to find out what my Wi-Fi is. So let me do that real quick. Alright, so I finally got my Wi-Fi back. And um, let me try to sign in. And for some reason, it's doing this verification fail. I think um, this is actually because maybe uh, the uh, Apple servers or the iCloud servers are not uh, primed or ready yet for uh, the iCloud. It just iOS 5.0 was basically uh, announced today, and I only happened to get the uh, um, get my hands on iOS 5.0 is because you know the, the developers. Uh, so it's 5.0, so it's more like an alpha <clears throat> version of um, uh, alpha testing. So maybe that is why the uh, iCloud is not working yet, but hopefully it will. And so look at the general settings screen, you notice something uh, right here, software update. And this is pertaining to, um, this is obviously pertaining to the uh, over the over the air software OTA, o over the air updates or over the cloud update. And it says the network is un unavailable or too slow for software update to use. And make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, I am and I'm connected to a uh, 15 megabits per second so that's pretty fast so I'm sure again it's similar to the situation with iCloud it's just uh, Apple is probably not ready yet um, basically uh, five hours ago they were uh, you know still talking about the uh, iOS so it literally came out five five hours ago and so let's see what else iTunes sync it allows me to back up to iTunes and for some reason this is not available um, alright so let's see what else we have so obviously multitasking gesture as you know I predicted and many others predicted is now a permanent feature in iOS 5.0 
and let's see Twitter has its own button here um, so you can sign in to Twitter using your credentials uh, let's see Safari um, that's pretty much the same and notice the new iMessages and let me see if I can actually sign in to the iMessages and I think it is working. Uh, it says iMessages. People will message you using your email address. What is the email address would you like to use? And so it is verified. iMessages is turned on. Um, so I can send messages bef between iPhone, iPad, and iPod between me and uh, billions of other Apple uh, technology users. And you can also send read receipts, receive at the email address, show subject field. Um, all right, not exactly sure what those are, but hopefully we'll see. And um, all right, so everything looks good right here. Oh, and here, notice on the store, uh, one of the new features is automatic downloads. What it does is if you purchase something, um, so let's say you purchase a song uh, somewhere in, uh, on your computer uh, using the, the iTunes software. It will automatically sync to your iPad. Um, and so obviously one of the things that a lot of people have been waiting for is notifications. And this is the notification center. And uh, so this, as you see, is a brand new graphics interface. So I will go through them, and you can, it seems like uh, for all of these things, it's pretty much the same thing. It asks you what kind of alert style um, you can actually set to, to the old alert pop-ups, or the banners at the top, or none. And uh, let's see what else we have here. So I'm actually going to demonstrate, try to demonstrate, um, this new feature so I will sign into my Gmail alright so now it is signed in and it's added so let me see if I can fetch data. And there are a lot of um, new features to the mail client as well. Um, I will try to sh demonstrate them accordingly. And um, all right, so here is the pull down at the very top. Oh, you guys can't see it. This is the pull down, so that's where the notifications are. And let me try to run the Gmail for the first time. It's fetching all of my emails. All right, so let's see. Um, well, for some reason, notifications are not showing up um, all right so let me try to maybe add a new reminder uh, make videos so remind me at let's say 10.05 Oh, here we go. <clears throat> there we go. These are the uh, notifications, obviously. And um, these are from the mail. And so if I wanted to see what's going on with Groupon, I can just tap on that. And these are, you know, the notifications. Um, 
and if I press the X button I can clear them all so good stuff and let me see what the messages are I'm not sure how this would work I think the way uh, let's see well actually nobody I know has iOS 5.0 yet so maybe I'll save that for a later day and one of the other new features is obviously newsstand you can download magazines in the app store so let's see what sort of um, magazines are there would you like to download your not now uh, let's see what kind of magazines do we have So let's see how much Wired Magazine would be. And actually it says free, so I might just actually jump on that. Install. And hopefully this is not actually, um, hopefully this is actually one of those subscriptions rather than uh, an application. And it seems to me that it is an application. All right, so let's try it again. What kind of magazines do we, or maybe not magazines, but newspapers. Or maybe I should just type in the name. Let's try new York Times. Um, well, for some reason it's not showing up, so let's just save that for a later video. And now I am going to demonstrate, uh, let's see. Alright, so I just happened to, uh, very fortunately to been able to get iCloud so your calendars are, and reminders on this iPad will be uploaded and merge with iCloud so let's merge that um, and I can also back up my mail contacts allow iCloud to use the location of your iPad yes and um, there's obviously photo stream let me turn that on and uh, storage and backup so obviously we have every user has a five gigabyte um, storage allow you and you can also buy more storage let's see how that goes okay all right so maybe they're not ready for purchasing new storage but definitely um, automatically back up your camera roll count Yes. All right, so let's back that up. All right, so obviously it is backing up all of my uh, information onto the uh, iCloud. Alright, so obviously now you can use the uh, upper volume button to take a picture. My hand's right here, so I'll take a picture. There we go. And you can also use the uh, usual on screen as well. And I think you can also zoom in um, on the specific subject, I think. Maybe not. Alright, so, anyways, let me go back into the photos alright so these are the photos that I have taken and I can right now I can edit them 
because it, it comes with the software now so I can uh, you know I can rotate I can enhance not sure what that does I think it just automatically changes the color and contrast and there's a no red eye feature um, I don't I don't think there's any red eye so I'm not gonna use that and you can always crop so let's see I just want this I can crop that and here we go so overall good stuff so this is the new uh, music player inside um, iOS 5.0 and it looks really nice um, I don't have anything right now on this but uh, let's see what's in the store Oh, nice so I can actually look at you know all of my previously purchased items so let's see KT okay so I can download it to the cloud by pressing this button and so obviously right now it is downloading and it should be processed so now you can actually see it in the player and let's play and so now you can also see these uh, playlists are also in uh, bigger uh, icons and you can find them very easily so very nice touch and now the Safari also looks different um, namely Safari now uh, has the uh, offline viewing feature which is called uh, read it later and uh, let's see oh well it's actually called reading list so let me add this to reading list and so now there is an icon indicating it's on the reader and so let me see if I can access the read so I can access the reader and it's beautiful it you know saves the whole thing into a very beautiful um, text format and uh, although there is no picture um, you can also adjust the font size so that's a very nice touch and also now you have the ability to um, add a tab as well so that was my previous one and I can do quite a lot so that's Safari and so uh, in all this is a uh, I'm sure there are a lot of small features that I haven't been able to cover and probably mostly due to the fact that it did came out today I'm still trying to get around and figure out you know what are uh, some of the more tiny details and uh, you know as days progress I will make uh, more videos regarding iOS 5.0 and so stay tuned uh, please do subscribe to my channel comment write your comment on the bottom of the of this video and please do also rate this video it does help my channel and uh, this myself a lot as well so anyways please do uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more up, uh, updated videos regarding iOS 5.0. I will definitely make more uh, in the upcoming days. So anyways until next time I'll see you here at TomZane.us. Thanks.